Hi, this is David from Dave's Digs. Thanks for visiting my channel. Today, what uh, I'm going to give you an instructional video on how to remove hair, uh, individual hairs from a face. Uh, generally, when we're, when we're shooting these hair blowing shots with fans, we a lot of times we'll have these tiny little hairs that cross over the eyes and the face and things like that. Uh, they're pretty annoying, uh, but with digital, it's pretty easy to go back in and fix it and, and sort of save the image. So what we start off with doing is basically copying the background layer, and you can do that with a Command-J or a Control-J. And whoops, one too many times. Uh, so Command-J will copy the, the actual layer. And then basically what we want to do is grab our healing brush tool, and not the spot healing brush, but the actual healing brush tool. So uh, it looks like a Band-Aid. And then what we're going to do is zoom in on one of these hairs. Uh, we have these hairs that are right here. Uh, we sample typically right next to the hair, Put the do an option click, put the little circle right over the hair, and just drag down. It's a pretty simple way to get rid of hairs. Um, sometimes I miss. And a lot of times you'll have to kind of go in and clean up, but basically it's, it's pretty easy to do. So we're going to option click here and then drag across the hair. And it gets rid of it really nice. Uh, where you'll run into a problem sometimes is where you're going to be sampling and you have the hair where it crosses from the skin to a darker tone or vice versa from the dark tone to a light tone. And what will happen, so for instance, if you will do an option click sample here and then start dragging here right up against the hair when you've sampled out here away from the hair, what will happen is you'll you'll create sort of a dark spot where it pulls the color out a little bit. So what you want to do is actually come in here along the edge and sample here and put it almost in the exact same spot where you're going to be dragging it from. So I'm going to sample right here, put my little cursor right there and just drag out. And what it will do is give me a lot cleaner uh, line up here. And then basically the same thing, just kind of sample along as you go. It can go pretty quick. Um, once you do this a few times, you get pretty good at just kind of going through and, and you can do it fairly fast. Um, sometimes you'll screw up a little bit, like here it kind of changed colors, you can kind of come back in and fix it a little bit. Um, it just takes a little practice, and but generally the biggest problem people have had is where they'll sample uh, against two colors. And same thing here, you'll kind of go between the, the dark and the light, sample, and then sort of get in the same spot and pull away. Um, there's another good spot down here against the lips where you'll see the same thing. Uh, basically, oops, let me get back out a little bit. So we'll sample right on the edge of the lip where the color is, sample there, and then sort of come in the same spot over here and then just drag up. Same here, sample on the edge and then kind of drag up from there. So it works pretty well. Um, it works on teeth too, so kind of same thing where you'll kind of come in and then drag down. And it's kind of fun when you get good at it because it really is something that is a fairly easy thing to, to, to handle and you can just kind of go through and kind of clean up little spots and, and make it real simple and easy. Uh, so hopefully this will help you out. If you have any questions, just shoot me a, a comment on my, my, my page and I'll do the best I can to answer your questions. Thank you for your time.